you know how far the sun is from the earth? Shoot, of course I do. Well, back in ninth grade we learned about that. And we learned that if things are closer, they're normally bigger. And well, the other day I was um, I was looking at the sun and I looked at the moon that night. Well, the sun is way bigger than the moon. Now, if I take what I learned in ninth grade, the sun is approximately four to five miles from Earth. Can you explain to me the quantum harmonic oscillator equation and the quantization of energy for bound states? What? Can you explain to me the quantum harmonic oscillator equation and the quantization of energy for bound states? Is he, is he serious? On the moon, Apollo 15 commander David Scott illustrated a well-known gravitational law by dropping a feather and a hammer at the same time and seeing which hit the ground first. Can you tell me the result of the experiment and why the results occurred? Considering if we even went to the moon, which we didn't, it was all a conspiracy to make the Soviets go bankrupt. And if you really think I'm stupid enough to believe that the feather hit the ground first, I mean, come on, heavier things fall faster. Get a pencil and a piece of paper and drop them and see which one hits the ground first. What fundamental force do gluons account for in quark reactions? Glue works because it's sticky, right? Well, uh, you're not totally wrong, but actually what I said was gluons. Yeah, once I glued on a poster to my wall. All right, you don't know about gluons. Can you tell me what quarks are? Yeah, it's a sound the duck makes.